Hey guys, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to explain this um, the scroll saw to you guys a little bit better. I've been having a lot of questions on, you know, basics, how I made it, the type of motor that it's using, things like that. Um, it's extremely basic, and if you guys Google uh, DIY scroll saws, you're going to find a ton of them. There's some that are extremely complicated, and, and I'm not for that. I, I like it basic and easy as long as it works. So let me get a light here so we can see a little better, and I'll kind of explain this to you a little bit. Um, what I basically did here is I, I've got a jigsaw mounted upside down. Um, and that's the gist of it, to be honest with you. Um, the chuck here is the original chuck that come in this jigsaw. Um, I know it's an older jigsaw. I don't even know what brand. Uh, I guess a Rockwell, but anyway. Um, so this chuck works, works perfect for um, putting scroll saw and coping saw blades in it. Um, now what I did is I basically had an old coping saw that I tore apart. Uh, this piece here on the head, let me get up here. This piece up here is nothing more than the part of the coping saw where you usually connect your blade to. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that or not because of the lighting, there you go. Um, that's what that part there is. Um, that holds the blade there. On the bottom, I take the, uh, let me get one, I take the coping saw blades um, I pull the pin out of one end. This pin obviously goes into the top. And on the bottom, I pull that pin out. This one hasn't been done yet, obviously. And then the bottom will slide right into here. Now, for the arm, the arm is an uh, oh, inch and a half or so by an inch. It's just a solid piece of oak is all it is. I got a hole drilled through there. I put this reinforcing plate on there, which I don't even know if you really need it. Um, I put it on there. That's actually the, the metal piece that goes onto a bicycle tire that helps hold the bike tire on. That's what I used for that. It fit, so that's what I used. Um, on the back, this is all three-quarter ply, except for the base, which is half inch. This is just a scrap piece of two by four that I had. And I kind of notched it out so the arm's got a little bit of room there to do its little swing. The spring keeps tension on the blade, obviously. Um, when the saw goes down, that keeps the tension on it. Uh, I have no idea where I came up with that, something that was in the scrap pile. Um, to set the tension, I, it's kind of hard to tell you. You can see here, I, I've made three or four different holes until I got a good position for the spring. It's all going to that's all determined by how strong your spring is, how big your spring is, things like that. Um, the pin here is actually, it's actually a nail. One of the big nails that they put in the ground to help hold mobile home skirting down. That's what this is. I just cut it off, kind of rounded it off. I put the pin in there instead of a bolt. That way if I need to get the arm off, if I break the arm or anything like that, I can just pull the pin. It slides right out nice and easy. Um, just, a, just a little block of wood I put on here and I throw my blades in it. Now, like I said, um, I'm actually using six and a half inch coping saw blades. Um, the reason for that is when I made this, I made the blade, you know, for the blade to be somewhat straight with this length of an arm, I used the six and a half inch blades because that's what I had at the time. Um, I also have been using actual scroll saw blades and, and they work too. The only thing is the blade has a little bit of tilt to it. Um, it doesn't seem to affect anything cutting wise. I, I don't know if it matters or not. I'm not a scroll saw expert by any means. I just needed this and this is what I came up with and it works for me. So I'm not endorsing it or saying that uh, I'm an expert at this because I'm not by any means. In fact, this is the first scroll saw I've ever had in my whole life. So, okay, anyway, um, for the speed, I was just turning the jigsaw, jigsaw on underneath and that's, that's a pain. So I had an old foot pedal for a sewing machine 
And what I've done, and again, I'm not endorsing you guys to do this. This is just how I did it. Um, if you do it, it's completely up to you. Um, I wired this into an outlet, into a junction box here. My scroll saw plugs into here. This box will plug into the outlet and that whole circuit is broke with the pedal and I'm able to, you know, I don't know what the RPM range is, but I can get it moving very, so I can still see the teeth clear up to, uh, I almost shake this thing off of my, my bench. So um, everything in between. So anyway, guys, I hope that answers some of the questions. I don't know what to tell you on dimensions. Um, I didn't even have any dimensions. I just started taking scraps that I had and I started throwing stuff together. And this is basically what I came up with. Um, I'll try to help you guys any way I can if you got any questions. Um, it's like I said, I know on Facebook and my email, um, also on my website, I've had just tons and tons of questions on this, um, how it works. I think the main one, the main question has been on the motor. I think everybody thought I had a, a motor underneath there, and I don't. It's just a scroll saw, like I said, literally mounted upside down. I drilled four holes through the plate here so that you know, to hold it tight up against there. Put some nuts on it, lock tight to hold everything tight. So I hope that answers some of your questions, guys. I'm gonna get a video. Um, I'm actually working in GIMP right now with a video or with a picture of my wife and I'm gonna make a uh, scroll saw pattern out of it. And I'm gonna try to do a scroll saw portrait and I will record it. I don't know if it's going to work because, like I said, I'm not a scroll saw expert. This is the first one I've ever had. So um, we'll see how that goes. And I'll probably get that video up uh, probably sometime this weekend. So um, any other questions, guys, go ahead and ask me. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. All right. Thanks for watching.